What's up, y'all? It's a boy, Black Shavis Nerd, back at it again with another episode of BCN Talking Points. And today, I feel like I'm about to ruffle some feathers. And if you feel like your feathers were ruffled by what I'm about to say, then that seems like a you problem, and that sounds like something that you need to work on personally. Uh, but you guys read the caption. You guys know what I'm about to talk about. Um, so for those are unaware... Um, one of the things that really grinds my gears, you know, of, you know, because of therapy and my journey post therapy, and I do plan on going back because, you know, these are some things that I want to talk about and like, there are still some things I want to talk about, you know, with my therapist. Um, but I want to talk about tonight. I want to talk about something that just rubs me the wrong way um for those of you that probably you probably grew up like this um with this scenario say you just felt like you wanted to order something you wanted to get something to eat whether it was lunch dinner whatever and say you ordered a cheesesteak uh with fries uh some wings and a drink you do DoorDash, Grubhub, Uber Eats, whatever, and it comes in, you get it. Say someone that you live with sees it, and then they feel like they're entitled to what you ordered and what you are about to eat, and then they take fries or a wing or two and then go on about their business. And they call it a food, and to them, that is a food tax. You know, they may call it the, 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 they may put like insert name, insert name tax. Um, and I'm here to say that that ticks me off because that just reeks of small dick energy. Um, (laughs) Like I said, I know this is going to ruffle some feathers, you know, if you're a parent watching this and uh, you don't like what I'm saying, then maybe you need to check on yourself. Uh, But it seems like there's a lot of people that are doing this nowadays and it's not just parents doing this with their kids. Uh, Or guardians doing it with children. You know, like the child's guardian doing it to the child. It seems like there's also friends and roommates that do this as well. Um, And I'm just here to say that that literally is some small dick energy. Uh, The people that are living with you. If you're the person that's implementing this stupid, small-minded food tax in whatever the living space is that you guys are in. You are not owed anything from the person who ordered the food. Like parents, your child does not owe you a piece of their food. Cause to be, cause if we're being honest, if we're keeping it a buck ninety-eight, because I don't want your two cents, you don't deserve anything from the child. The child didn't even ask to be on this planet. And then all of a sudden, when they finally start getting their, start making a little bit of money for, from their job or whatever, and they feel like they want to spoil themselves or treat themselves to some food outside of the house, you feel like you're owed something. And it's not even that, but also, you know, like growing up, say this scenario, you go to, like, you, a parent is taking their children to Wendy's and or one of the faster restaurants so wendy's i'll just say wendy's and they're all getting their burgers and fries and getting their meals and then the parent just takes fries from the, from the child from the children and then it's like nope nope let me get some of these let me get some of these let let me test to see how hot it is 
You know damn well what you're doing. Again, taxing people that didn't even ask to be here. You know, like these, like the children weren't the ones swimming around the father's nutsacks, banging on the nutsacks, talking about, hey, we want to come out. We want to come out and play. Like, no, they was minding the business that paid them. And then the mother and father decided they wanted to roll the dice and do the and do the mature tango, if you will, the horizontal tango or vertical tango, you never know, uh, and decided to, nine months later, have a kid. That child does not owe you anything. You are not entitled to whatever the child does. That also goes to their food, you know. So even if you are, like I said, if you guys are going to Burger King and they want, you know, like a Whopper and, a, and it's a large because, you know, kids, kids' eyes are bigger than their stomach. So they may want, you know, like the Whopper with the large fry because they're a big kid and they want to do that and they want to eat it. You're not entitled to that child's fries. And if you are per, and if you are implementing the food tax. Regardless of the age, you are exuding small dick energy. And once again, if you feel offended by what I'm saying right now, please know that that's a you problem. That sounds like a personal problem that you need to work on. Trust and believe me, it does not hurt me one bit if you reply respond to this by saying that I, that you shouldn't be talking like this or you want to say that you disagree and you want to go blah 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 like i owe anything or the kid owes me this or i can do whatever i want with my kid okay and then when that child grows up and then leaves you in the dust don't go crying talking about I, I did the best I could and I don't understand why they would do this or why they would leave or why they would say that. Maybe if you do some introspecting and oh, I don't know, seek therapy. Then maybe you would understand why they're leaving, why they would leave. But again, the food tax rose me the wrong way. And when I have children, when I because I do plan on having kids in the future, but when I have kids, I will not be implementing a food tax. I will be teaching my children that no one is entitled to your food, whether it be your parents, the person like a friend, a romantic partner, you know, because there are ro there are partners that. We all know the scenario. You and your partner going out to dinner. You know, they have their plate. You have yours. And then the partner will take food from your plate. And it's like, yo, mm -mm, no. You have your food. I have mine. Now, if you would like some of mine, then ask. But don't just reach and grab. And if I say no, I say no. Because no means no. And if I say yes, then go ahead and have some. But this food tax has to stop. It has to end. But like I said, that's all I got to say about the subject. What do you guys, what do you guys feel about the, this whole food tax thing? You know, let's have the conversation. Let's be respectful. We can agree to disagree. But... If we're gonna, if it's gonna be any, if there's gonna be any malicious content, if it's gonna be any malicious comments, you know, if it's gonna be the typical, you know, like, I can do whatever I want and blah, 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 you know, the stereotypical comments that a parent or a person would say if they are implementing the food tax, 
you know, then, you know, then I will remove you from the conversation. But if you cannot keep calm about the conversation, then I will remove you. But again, how do you guys feel about it? What's your take? And do you guys partake in the food tax or no? But as always, guys, make sure you guys uh, do the things, you know, let's let's help let's help grow the, the channel. You know, more of these will be coming. Actually, I have another one coming up. Uh, I have another video like this where I just talk about, you know, like things that rub me the wrong way and tick me off. Uh, but uh, yeah, guys, until the next time, love, peace and bacon grease. And uh, see you guys in the next one. And we are.